What is up YouTube? Welcome back to another Morales tutorial video. In this video, we're going to check out how you can set up your Morales streams, which listen to any sort of blockchain event on EVM chains with your own self-hosted backend parse server. So this is very cool because when you have your self-hosted server, you can handle this information how you like, and the information is automatically stored into your Mongo database for use at a later date. So here I'm, for example, looking at my own Polygon testnet native transactions and ENS being transferred on the Ethereum network. So if you jump back into our Mongo database over here, you see all these data is being appended to our parse database into the ENS logs collection and the Polygon testnet transactions. We can try it out, for example, by making a MetaMask transaction over here. So we're looking at our account one, 0x4D2. Let's go ahead and send, say, to my own account, account three over here, which is 0x4C. We'll send 2.5 Matic. Let's click next, scroll down and confirm. Now, as that's going through, after it's gone through, we'll see this transaction details being appended to our Mongo database because it's gone through our own parse server. All right, now that's gone through, let's just refresh this Mongo database page. And now we have four events over here. If we look at the latest one over here at the bottom, we have the from address 0x4d2, our account one, our two address 0x4c, our account three, and the value 2.5 Matic with the 18 decimals. You also get a confirmed stamp over here. So after sufficient blocks have passed on the blockchain and we know this transaction won't be dropped, this confirmed will change the true. You also get the transaction hash. If you wanna check out this on Explorer, you get the chain ID it occurred on, the gas used, and all this other information. If this sounds very cool to you and you wanna see how you can set up your Morales streams with your self-hosted backend, stay stuck in and I'll show you how to build it. Hey, I'm Jay, your Morales instructor from beautiful Finland. I got into crypto in 2020 and I've been building in the space ever since. In my free time, I enjoy running and at the gym and in the summer, you'll definitely find me at the golf course. Now, let's get stuck in and learn about Web3. All right, getting started here in our documentation page, we have a great tutorial on how to create your own self-hosted server on which you can run Morales using Parse Server. It's very thorough documentation. We even have a video. This documentation page will be linked in the description and this video will be linked in the top right of the video right now if you wanna check it out. Having your own server is just so great. It allows you to give you full control of your backend. You have access to all the Morales features through your own server. The API calls authentication. You can even write custom custom cloud code, you have access to your own database on MongoDB, and now even you can run your Morales streams through your own parse server. So it's a very powerful, very cool tool. So please go first, check this tutorial out if you're totally new to this. But how we can get started here in this tutorial, go over here into the first subsection of this tutorial and go ahead and download parse server migration, or you can also go ahead and clone it from GitHub, but we'll just download it. It comes in a zip file. So let's open it up in our files and unzip it. So going split screen mode over here, we have our directory where we're going to store it right here. And now we can go ahead and just press it and it, it unzips for us. And we can go ahead and open this up in Visual Studio Code. All right. If your file structure looks something like this, everything should be fine. And in your terminal, you can go ahead and install all the dependencies by running yarn install like so. So as the dependencies are running, let's close this down and take a look at this .env.example file. So in here, we'll have to populate all this required information for so our Morales API key. So we have access to Morales features. Then we have to populate our own decided master key and application ID. These should be very safe and only kept as the app owner's information. And then we can set our database with Mongo database and our Redis connection over here. These we go over in the previous tutorial. So please, please go check that out if you're unsure of how to populate these, but I'll just populate these. And then what we'll do is go ahead and change this .env.example file name to just .env. So we can actually get these environment variables for our parse server app. Okay, let's close this. All right, so our dependencies are installed now. Let's go ahead and jump into the source folder and go ahead and jump into the index.ts file. So this is your Express app for your parse server. And all you need to know here, if you're interested in your Morales streams, is that the app uses the stream sync plugin from Morales Web 3. So if you already have your own uh, parse server set up, 
you can just install the Morales Web3 slash parse server package to start using Morales streams in your own parse server. And then in your Express app, you just have to define that the app uses stream sync, your parse server, and then it takes this object with the API key, including your Morales API key and the webhook URL. So whatever address your parse server is running on, it will be appended with slash streams and that will be your webhook URL where Morales should send any new streams that are coming in on the streams that you've set up on Morales side. And that's all you need to know and you're good to go. So go ahead and open up your terminal. You can go ahead and run yarn build. And now you have a build folder, which includes your parse server. And then you can just run yarn dev to start off your parse server on your desired port. So we hit that. And now your Morales server is running on port 1337 and parse live query server started running. How cool is that? Now in the full tutorial on how to set up a parse server for Morales, we also show how to host this. But as we're doing this for development purposes, we can just set up a Ngrok tunnel. So this parse server that is running on a local machine on port 1337, we can access it through the internet as well. So open up another terminal. Let's go ahead and zoom into this. Make sure you've installed sudo npm i ngrok. I already have ngrok installed, so I won't run that. And then you can start off your tunnel by running ngrok HTTP, and then the port our server is running on, which is 1337, 1337. And now that's started. So what we can do is we can use this address over here, appended with the streams as our webhook URL when we set up our stream on Morales side, and we should start getting live streams updated into our Mongo database. So we can close this down for now and jump in to Morales.io on our browser and set up a new stream. All right, so here I'm on my Morales admin dashboard. If you haven't already created an account, just navigate to admin.morales.io and you can go ahead and sign up. It's totally free. Now go ahead and jump into streams over here and we can create a new stream to start listening to different blockchain events. We'll create one from scratch or you can use one of the templates. So we'll select an address. We'll just use my own crypto wallet address for testing purposes. Account one over here, which is on the Polygon testnet and has 39 Matic. So we'll copy this address. So we'll start listening to this address and then we can define what we want to listen to. As a description, we can say my Polygon testnet transactions, for example. So whenever this wallet address receives or sends Matic tokens, that's what we're looking for. Now for our webhook URL, you can open up your terminal again, copy out this address and paste it into your webhook URL. Also remember to add that streams because our parse server is set up so that this is the webhook URL for sending streams. Now as a tag, just give something to identify this stream. For example, Polygon testnet over here. Now we scroll down, we select the networks, we have all these EVM chains, but as we're on the Polygon Mumbai testnet, we'll just select that one. Then as we scroll down, what sort of address activity? So we're only interested in the native transactions, so we can select that. We don't need to get the contract logs, for example, for ERC-20 tokens being transferred or ERC-721 NFTs being transferred. We can look into that a little later. And because of that, we don't need to look at any contract application binary interfaces and we can leave all the other fields empty. Now let's go ahead and create this stream. New stream created and to make sure that your server is receiving it, you can open up your terminal and you should have got a post over here. It didn't send a blockchain event, it just initialized the stream by sending a post request to your webhook URL and we received it and it was 200 okay, so everything is good. Now what's left to do is go ahead and test it out. So because your parse server is set up with a Mongo database that you set in your .env file, let's open up that Mongo database. All right, so we found ourselves in the MongoDB web UI, and we currently don't have any databases or collections over here on this project, which we have set up with our parse server. So now let's go ahead and make a MetaMask transfer on the Polygon Mumbai testnet with our account one, which is set up with a stream and see if this database is updated. So go ahead and open up MetaMask, account one over here, the 39 Matic. Let's go ahead and send between my accounts. Let's send, for example, to account two, let's send five Matic. Press next, scroll down and confirm the transaction that transaction is pending. And as this goes through, we might need to refresh the Mongo database page as it is the first element for our collection, but now it's gone through. So we can go ahead and refresh the page over here and we should have a transaction with all the details. Look at that Polygon testnet transactions as that was the tag we gave it and we're looking at transactions. 
and we have one field in this collection with all the details the from address which was which was our account one zero x four d two two address which is our account two and the value which is five matic with the 18 decimals over here we also have transaction hash if you want to view this transaction on the polygon mumbai explorer we have the gas used etc etc so a very very quick and easy way to set up morala streams using your self-hosted server now one other thing i want to show to you if you want to look at contract logs for example for erc721 tokens being transferred how the parse server is set up it will create a mongo database collection with the morala stream tag appended with logs at the end and you'll get a list of all those streams. So let's go ahead and set up a new one over here. Jumping back into Morale Streams over here, we'll create a new stream. Let's create one from scratch. Let's use the ENS smart contract on the Ethereum network. So let me just show you on Etherscan over here. All right, so we have the Ethereum name services smart contract over here. The contract is this. We can copy that, use that as our contract. Then as we scroll down, we can give it a description. We'll use the same webhook URL. So jump back into your terminal fetch it from over here and paste it in here. Always remember to append with the streams so your webhook is sent to the correct place. And as a tag, we can just say, for example, ENS. Now, as we scroll down, we'll select the network. This time we're on the Ethereum mainnet, so we can select that. You can always look at different networks. You don't have to look at the same network for all your streams. And then this time we're gonna look at the logs. We're not interested in the native transactions. We're just interested in the ERC20s being transferred. And for this, there are events that ERC20 contracts emit. So we can look at events, toggle this button over here. And as the ABI, you can jump into Etherscan, jump into the contract field over here, scroll down and you can get the contract ABI from the bottom. Contract ABI, you can copy that. And because Morales is so powerful, it automatically finds all the topics that this smart contract emits. For example, transfer over here. So let's click that. And for now, we won't set any advanced options, but if you wanted to look at only specific senders, receivers, you could do that over here. But now we're ready and we can create this stream. Now that new stream was created and all we have to do is jump over to our Mongo database and wait for anyone on the Ethereum network to transfer their ENS ERC20s. And we can check that out over here in our Mongo database. So if I wait a little bit and I refresh, and look at this already, we have ENS logs. So again, this is our tag ENS, we set on Morales side and it's appended by logs because we're looking at the contract logs. So if we open this up, apparently there's been two transfers. We get all the information from these transfers. We get the name of the event, which was a transfer. We get the from address, the to address, the value associated with the transfer, and we even get the transaction hash. So if we copy that, we can go to see what happened in this transaction on the Ethereum network. So copy that, jump back into Etherscan, scroll all the way up, paste that into the search field over here. And here you get the details of this transaction on the Ethereum network. You can see the logs over here. It has that transfer event from address to to address. And all this is automatically being updated. Now, as we have the stream set up and it's sending the webhooks to our parse server, they're automatically being updated over here. So if you refresh the page, we might have some more ENS being transferred. Yeah, see that we already have four over here in our collection of ENS logs. And that is how you set up streams for your own self-hosted server. It was super simple. I hope this was helpful for you and it helps you when you're setting up your own streams for your self-hosted parse servers. I'll catch you in the next one.